driving there, other people actually bike to where they want to go, even this time of year. And you say, to, you say to yourself, how do they do that? Right, especially given the different kinds of snow. You get the, the icy kind or the slushy kind like we have today. Jennifer Johnson live at Tryon Bike to learn all about something called fat bikes and why people are actually using them in the winter. Hey, Jen. We're totally embracing winter, aren't we? You see like people running outside wearing you know, special shoes and all that. So why not ride your bike outside? And you're thinking, okay, Jennifer, because that's crazy. Maybe that's why. But I want to talk about the bikes. You look at these and you're like, that looks normal. This is because it is. It's a mountain bike that we've known for so long. The uh, tires are two and a quarter inches. That's not a fat bike. You ready to meet a fat bike? We're going to come on over here. This is a fat bike. This is Blake, who is a general manager here at Tryon Bike. This is his bike, so I need to be careful how much I actually touch it. You can tell it's his pride and joy. How, how big is this? That is five inches. Five inches, so double in size. Double in size. what is on a mountain bike. Yep. Now, I love this fact. You often ride this bike from Charlotte here to the shop. I do. In the middle of winter. In the middle of winter. Tell, what's that ride like? Uh, it is slow and fun okay um you can ride the sidewalks which is nice um it actually becomes a trail it's almost like mountain biking um some ways more fun i'm not sure i should say that but <laughs> <laughs> it is one of the most fun things you can do on a bike all right so obviously the big difference right away of course is how big the tire is right yep um the tread will it mostly be the same size in terms of the height of it uh that's pretty a pretty safe safe assumption. Okay. Um, there are a lot of now a lot of different tire choices. Um, mm -hmm. They do vary in height and knobs um, and size. Uh, there are some that are much smaller and very dense. Some that are uh, more sparse and much burlier. I love this too. Um, I'm on the wrong side, of course, but you think about like your imagine your hands being exposed in the winter that'd be freezing. Like the mitts, that makes perfect sense, and that makes all the difference. You said it does. Um, I can wear a much uh, a glove with a lot more dexterity uh -huh. than I would uh, without them. Um, I'm wearing, you know, just a year ago I was I would wear those down into the 40s. Now I can wear these into the teens and single digits. Right, and there's a variety. I mean, I see a whole bunch uh, behind here. Uh, and as we, as we get the variety here, I mean, we've seen the popularity, what, in Rochester the last year and a half or so? Yep. It definitely skyrocketed. Okay. So how many people are coming in and, and getting these? We're seeing at least one or two a week. Um, really? Which, this time of year, having people coming in and buy bikes like that is phenomenal. Really? Um, our business has picked up significantly and over the last there, year. There's even, uh, has been some rides recently, like some competitions? Yep, there's been a few races. Um, some as close as Webster, some as far away as Verysburg. Okay. Um, next weekend there is a race out in, uh, on the Tug Hill Plateau, which is oh. supposed to be phenomenal. Oh my gosh. You don't think March, Tug Hill Plateau, and a bike ride necessarily. <laughs> no, you don't, but you do now. <laughs> One of the nice things about here, we were talking to, what do you call this, the Wrench Club? The Wrench Club. Uh, so for people, what, pay $35? $35 a year, and they have access to all the tools you would normally find in a bike shop. Um, because if you're out riding in the winter, are you prone to having more brakes and problems, or not necessarily? Not brakes and problems, but you do need to be a little more uh, conscious about your maintenance. Uh-huh. Um, you have to make sure you clean the bike frequently, clean the chain, uh, lube it, keep it very, keep it well lubricated. Um, so clean the out the salt. The people who wear snowshoes, they're your friends. They are. You often like it when they're out on a trail before you head out? I do, I gotta say. Um, they sort of break up the snow and make it pack down a little bit more easily. Um, we've been known, to, we have a little track out front that we have a set of snowshoes here and we'll go and trample it down first and then go do a couple of laps uh -huh. um, before it's, you know, rideable in any quick fashion. Yeah, uh, and we're going to try that because I'm intrigued. I don't want to just look at it. I want to try it. So uh, coming up 830, we're going to get a little new uh, tutorial. And a little bit after that, I don't know if I'm dressed appropriately or not. I got my snow boots on, kind of all I had this morning. But we're going to try it out. Blake's going to be my teacher, and we'll, we'll see how I do. Come this hour, guys. Back to you. Cool. Thanks, Jen.